Hey, what's up, Aries? How's it going? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, thanks for tuning in to your June 2020 month ahead reading. Um, I'll be using the Gilded Tarot to do this reading for you. And I was guided to pull a Romance Angel Oracle card for you. And I'll do that at the end of the reading. If you guys have been watching the um, daily reads for me, I was seeing the Lover's card come up quite a bit. So I feel like there's a definite air of love and healing available to all signs. So I wanted to use that deck to really hone in on that a little bit and meanwhile thanks for being here guys and i hope everybody's doing fantastic um you know so i'm just going to shuffle a couple more times and jump right into the reading so the first card was going to look at the main theme of the month see what sort of energy is available to you and keep in mind guys this is a general read all right so i'm going to do a deck cut the main theme of the month yes so we do have the magician card here for you so be really, really, really conscious of what you're thinking um, as much as you possibly can and really use your your thoughts as intentions, you know, because your thoughts are manifesting everything around you. So, and that's positive and negative. So we do have the magician here and he's using every tool available to him. Um, you know, we've got all the elements of tarot here, pentacles, swords, wands, cups, so everything combined together, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you project, um, the way you visualize, it's going to really impact you in the month of June. It looks like there's there's a really magical portal opening for you, Aries. So you want to take a best advantage of that, especially if you've been in some sort of like slump for a while, right? So if you're trying to manifest a new job or a new partner or um, wealth and abundance, like really keep it like who is the ideal person that you want to be with or what is the ideal job like really focus on your ideals you know and then turn those into reality with this powerful magician card that we're seeing here so let's look at past influences um affecting this month which i find is going to be a fascinating card for you so we have the six of cups so sometimes we get really stuck in the past and thinking like like I'm just seeing a nasty case of the what ifs like what if I had not lost that job or what if I had stayed with that person or what if what if what if what if what if you know and where does that get you absolutely nowhere um it can feel really good sometimes especially if you like to throw a good pity party but remember everything that you're thinking and saying and doing especially this month because it looks like you have this magical portal like the universe only knows what you tell it. It's like, it is magic. When you speak, your words are magic. Your spelling. If you guys don't know what spelling is, it's what, um, what witches do, right? They spell things and spelling is prayer and spelling is magic. So keep your spells positive. Like really just pay attention, you know, keep it clean. You keep it up. Keep like don't look back with sorrow or anything like that and don't bring it into your current reality unless you want repeats of what happened so i mean this is why people um, when they're trying to improve their circumstances um they might drive through the neighborhood that they want to live in or go shopping in the stores that they they want to be able to afford to shop in you know, or looking at people that would be sort of a match for the physical attributes that they want in a partner or writing things down, you know, the, the qualities of a partner that you're looking for because that's all spelling, it's all magic. So really drop the what ifs, you know, because they, they're not helping you. So let's see any roadblocks of the month. This is interesting. So we've got the six of pentacles. So now you have two sixes in the read. So you've got the six of cups and then you've got the six of pentacles. So any roadblock, you know, you guys, if you're not able to take help, um, you're blocking the universe. So be very, very careful. Like if somebody offers you something, hey, I could set you up with a job interview. Um, Hey, I could set you up on a blind date or do you want to take a trip somewhere? Like, 
the words I'm getting right now is that pride comes before a fall. So don't let the way that you feel about something again interfere with the possibilities here because you do have the six of pentacles and if you're worried about taking what you think is a charitable offer right now just keep it and like tuck it in your pocket and then pay it forward at another day um because everything does come around what goes around comes around so if you're feeling like you're being pitied i mean what is the universe going to deliver you i mean what's that movie the secret they kind of talk about you know, the, the law of attraction as being like a catalog where you can order things, but you have to put the energy into the order form, you know, so watch your energy. I'm just being guided, you know, keep everything in balance here. You know, you've got these pentacles on the scales and you've got hands reaching out to help you. So don't turn people down. You know, these are your earth angels. And this is, this is the, these are the blessings that you've ordered from the Law of Attraction catalog, you know, and I don't know how you think that things are going to be delivered to you unless it's in human form, you know, unless, I mean, do you have an, a, a genie's lamp that I'm not aware of? And if you do, would you be willing to share it? You know, because things don't manifest that way. They don't just like pop and appear into your living room. It's going to take the help of human um, hands to bring it to you so that's what I'm seeing here and it's not charity it's an opportunity keep that in mind because I think that sometimes people feel like oh well they just feel sorry for you well they don't they see an opportunity to help you and then again pay it forward when you have the chance so possibilities of the month you guys tons and tons and tons of options here with the seven of cups so really, really, again, and this comes down to that, that order catalog, what's going to go at the top of your order form? And then second, and then third, like really detail what you want out to the universe. Um, there are, you can find these online, like they're checks to the, to the universe where you put down like whatever you want, like if it's money, if you want a new house, you want a new car, maybe fill some of those out. Like Jim Carrey, he asked the universe for, I think it was either 10 or $20 million. And then um, he kept on visiting neighborhoods where he wanted to live and, you know, stuff like that. And then he was offered Ace Ventura and it was equal. The salary he was offered was equal to the amount that he had asked the universe for. And that came through a studio, like a, a whatever, a studio head or whoever. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't work in Hollywood but they offered him a contract and that was offered by a human, even though he asked the universe for it. So be very particularly careful about that, what you're asking the universe for. Um, and if you're asking for those conditions where everything wasn't fantastic or it's expired, um, you're just gonna get that over again, that sort of repetitive, sort of stuck in a rut groundhog day scenario and you could be using your magic with the magician for so much more um so make yourself like a universal grocery list you know and with the seven of cups it's all there it's all within your hands and you've got cups and pentacles so you've got everything that'll make you happy as well as the pentacles which is money so i mean <laughs> oh my God. so yeah that's what life with robin is really like so i mean you have everything here like it's it is an open book so start taking advantage of that and if you haven't seen the secret i want to advise you guys to do that so i'm going to do a deck cut from the romance angel oracle this could be the one very very interesting so <clears throat> i'm gonna say this is probably more for singles than it is for people in relationships so if you guys are single right now and you've been thinking about like okay i'm ready to get back into a relationship i had a bad breakup and it sucked or you know whatever happened and your partner is no longer available on earth maybe they're on the other side of the veil um 
you know, this says you've already met the rom romantic partner you seek. So, and I just absolutely love this card because it's saying, you know, you might already be friends with the, the person that you're meant to be in a romantic relationship with for the rest of your life. And, you know, some people think, oh, well, they're just friends. They're just in the friend zone. But what could be better than that? You're starting off with somebody that's already your friend that you understand and they understand you. They get your sense of humor. They they understand that you drop cards all over the place when you're recording a video. You know what I mean? Um, and they already have an affection for you in the way of a friendship. And, and what if something suddenly sparks and changes one day where you're like, oh, well, I could really see myself with this person and they could really fit into this magical life that I'm trying that I am manifesting you you're not trying to manifest you are manifesting and whether that is in a positive or negative way is going to completely depend on the things that you're writing on your universal order form so be careful like if you're looking back and saying well yeah I really blew that you know or I shouldn't have broke up with that person then you're probably just going to be getting um, flashes of that all the time or situations that recur with that. But I mean, you could really call in something and somebody magical. And again, with the six of pentacles, you're just, you're open to receive. And again, that magical portal is opening wide for you in the month of June. So pay particular attention to what it is that you absolutely want maybe is not the best time to create your vision board and put it somewhere where you can look at it constantly to remind yourself, okay, well, this is what I really want to, whoops, you know, let's just uh, cancel, clear and delete those negative thoughts. Angel number 1155 just came up for you guys. You have a really intriguing reading here. And it's like just building up that self-belief and the understanding that the words that you're saying are a direct communication to the source and to and with the law of attraction. So you gotta keep it clean, you guys. Keep it positive, keep it where you'll actually be happy with what you've manifested instead of manifesting something negative or a partner that is very similar to the person that you broke up with because you guys didn't get along or some new crappy job or some new crappy house. Like, don't look at crappy stuff. Like, if you don't wanna be like blessed with crappy things like look at the positive things and look like just really emulate or look towards the people that have the things that you're pulling into your life so really interesting month this is going to be a big boom of manifestation for you guys in june and i think that rhymed so on that note guys i hope you do have a really blessed and magical month of june take care bye